The Indian Wire, 10th of February 2024, IMF expresses worries about Maldives' foreign debt crisis after China's borrowing. Massive bribes were given to the ruling party of the Maldives, and Chinese debt has taken over the country. Notwithstanding the Maldives' post-pandemic solid recovery, the International Monetary Fund IMF, has cautioned that the country is still quite vulnerable to financial problems. According to the IMF staff's preliminary findings, made public last Wednesday after a visit to the Maldives, the island nation's economy is predicted to develop at a rate of 5.2% in 2024, thanks to expected rises in visitor arrivals. Declaring that the overall fiscal deficits and public debt are projected to stay elevated, and the Maldives remains at high risk of external and overall debt distress, without significant policy changes, the statement urges a swift change in course. This assessment is consistent with the World Bank's earlier examination of the financial difficulties facing the Indian Ocean archipelago. It is necessary to apply strict monetary and macroprudential policies to limit vulnerabilities in public finance and debt and achieve sustainable fiscal consolidation. In response, the government is laudably launching an agenda for substantial domestically built budgetary reform, and they are committed to implementing it as soon as possible. Enhancing institutions to support climate adaptation and mitigation initiatives will make acquiring extra climate funds and fulfilling climate obligations easier especially in light of the Maldives' vulnerability to climate change. Strong, inclusive, and sustainable growth will be facilitated in the future by promoting skill development, strengthening governance, and cultivating an enhanced business climate. Furthermore, growth possibilities are expected to be further enhanced by the proposed expansion of the Vilana Airport Terminal and the possible increase in hotel room capabilities. President Mohamed Mutsu told the legislature that his administration plans to implement a reform program to improve the nation's financial status and create sustainable budgetary circumstances in the face of growing obstacles. Help. During his visit to China in January of this year, Mr. Mutsu asked Beijing to back the airport's second development phase. After returning, he declared that China was eager to discuss possibly delaying the Maldives' debt to the Asian country. The Maldives owes Beijing almost $1.4 billion, making China the island nation's biggest bilateral creditor. The World Bank predicts the Maldives will continue to have a debt-to-GDP ratio higher than 115% this year. According to the analysis, the Maldivian economy recovered strongly from the pandemic-induced downturn 2022, growing by 13.9%, and is expected to rise by 4.4% in 2023. Even with this encouraging development, there are still unanswered questions because it is anticipated that the current account deficit will remain high until 2024 due mainly to rising fuel costs and robust import demand. Without significant policy changes, the overall fiscal deficits and public debt are projected to stay elevated, and the Maldives remains at high risk of external and overall debt distress, stressed Sansri Wiboon, the economist delivering the official statement for the IMF. The Maldives also confront severe climate change-related threats, like floods and the growing threat of increasing sea levels, which could significantly impact the country's economy. The IMF emphasized how vital it is to strengthen institutions to support efforts to mitigate and adapt to climate change and make it easier to obtain extra climate finance and fulfill obligations about climate action. Quick implementation of a robust and credible form of fiscal consolidation, comprising holistic expenditure rationalization and domestic revenue mobilization, is needed in light of constrained policy space and mounting pressures on the balance of payments. Suppose the Maldives Monetary Authority MMA, moves on. In that case, the IMF applauds the nation for stopping, noting that macroprudential rules must be reinforced to guarantee compatibility with the exchange rate peg. It also underlined how important it is to bolster crisis management and oversight in the financial sector, in addition to initiatives to improve the business environment, uphold governance, and encourage skilled development to promote equitable and sustainable growth.